This is a tale of four attempts to find camping. One turned out pretty good, easy peasy. Second one, not so good. Third one, no. Fourth one, yeah. Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary. <laughs> and we are going to tell you a tale of some campsites. One was in Hoosier National Park in Indiana, and two were in the Daniel Boone National Forest in Kentucky, and a state campground in Kentucky, too. Yes. We're going to tell you a little bit about some of the red flags to look for in this video. Some of the things that uh, we maybe could have done differently <laughs> had we had data. <laughs> we did not have good cell service, so we were not able to see where we were going. If, if we had done the map beforehand, it still wouldn't have told us anything because it didn't show a topical kind of thing. It didn't, it just showed the route. You have no idea what you're getting into. I, uh, we had no idea. We had no idea it was going to turn into gravel. We had no idea any of those things. So we're going to show you how some of these things turn out <laughs> when, you, when you stay at, at cheap campsites <laughs> in beautiful scenic areas. All right. First one is Hoosier, Indiana. That was easy. Getting ready to head out. Just had to get off of our planks. Goodbye, awesome campsite. Hoosier National Forest in Southern Indiana, right off 64. This is dispersed camping, which means that you, you go in, you find a site, and then you go back and pay for it. And there's a lot of nice sites. There's some trails in here. All the sites have a picnic table and a fire ring. Uh, they're all pretty level. Give me an idea of what's there. Yeah. <laughs> they have pit toilets open. The other restrooms were not open because of COVID. So the showers and stuff were not open, but the pit toilets were. And the best part was the price. <laughs> yes. It was ten dollars for electric or five dollars without electric and it was half price if you have the gold pass so we paid five dollars for an electric site in this gorgeous forest <laughs> do you feel sorry for us <laughs> the second one was in the daniel boone national forest it was called Little Lick. This was the experience. Getting off the main road and hitting a county road. We don't know what it's going to be like, but there's a campground at the end, so it has to be okay, right? 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 Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> We're eating lunch on the way. <laughs> we turned off the first road onto this one, and I mean, at least this one has a double yellow. And it's a little wider and very smooth. I'm impressed. This is better than some interstates. Last part, 
turns to gravel. One lane. No shoulder. This is two lane. This is a two lane? This is a two lane. Right. With an RV. I would not want to meet another RV on here. So let's hope that this is like a one way kind of thing. Hmm. And there's another way out. Or that we don't meet anybody. <laughs> somebody. He's, he's backing up. Oh my. <laughs> oh. Thank you, whoever you are. It's like two miles on this road to get into the campground. Please let there be an opening. And we don't have to go out this way again. I'll know as soon as we turn. Continue on Old Whitney Road for half a mile. Well, it says estimated time of arrival, 431, and it is 4 something 425 426 right now well she's telling us we have arrived uh, don't think so we've been seeing signs for the campground I don't know where that person stayed because there was no place to pull over Maybe their GPS thing was off. <sighs> well, this is the Little Lick Campground in the Daniel Boone National Forest. There's a big water hole right straight ahead of us that we do not want to go through, so Gary's turning around in one of the campsites. There's nobody here. There's only one way out. And there seems to be only one way out because this is the end of the road and it's a loop. Okay. And it's supposed to rain for the next four or five days. This is the right campground. It's a lot further off the road. A lot more, and we have no cell service here either. And there was a bear warning on the sign. <laughs> I would expect they're always going to have those. Yeah. It's part of being in this country. Yeah. I mean, I'd feel safe in our RV. They're mo no doubt black bears, which aren't as likely to do damage. <laughs> you know bears? <laughs> You're just going to go with that, okay? <laughs> this is the only way out. How long it takes to get there? Reasonably safe. It's the 
the only way out, so we're going to go back. There's the bear warning. And it is the Little Lick Campground. So we have to go where there's cell service, and we did have it off and on as we were coming in. So as soon as we get to some cell service, we can pull up a map and see what what's going on here. But it was free. <laughs> there were no hookups. Yeah. It's way off the road. Way off the road. Very quiet, I'm sure. It always seems longer to go into a place than to go back out. Okay. We're going to go with that. Now we're just praying that nobody comes the other direction. I wouldn't have minded staying there if it wasn't for the rain that's coming. And we don't know what this road would be like. It, they're forecasting like five or six days in a row of rain. And it's a gravel road. It's probably not the best idea. We'd have been all alone back there too. There was no other campers. So any kind of emergency we'd have been all on our own with about at least a half hour to get back to a road. Yeah. Jesus would have been with us. Yeah. Always is. <laughs> it's a good thing we planned on stopping early today. It is. It would be very dark and lonesome. Like bears all around us. <laughs> We've been able to see them. We are back on blacktop. Oh, big relief. It's, <laughs> it's like five times wider than what we were on in there. In the gravel. <laughs> and we're, we, we're, we're heading to 192 and then we're going to take a left and just continue on 192 and see what's up the road ahead. 192 is what we were going to do in the very first place and then and then this other thing came up and we thought oh that'd be cool to camp right in the Daniel Boone Nas National Forest. We felt like we were right in the middle of it too. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back on 192. 192 in Kentucky from the town of London, which is on I-75 South. So out of London, you take, uh, you go down and you go down to 192, and this is gonna bring us out in Somerset, eventually. And this is the road we were originally going to just take, but we didn't know what it would be like, and the person at the visitor center couldn't help us. She was new. Uh, it is a great road as far as being smooth and everything but as you can see there's not much for ditches or anything like that on the sides so if you have a really big rig uh, good luck I don't know if I would do it but I don't know do you think with a big big old bus with a tow behind it maybe I it's guess. an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like when we were on that gravel road. Yeah. I felt like we were a huge rig in a little tiny room. <laughs> yeah, that one was definitely more for a, a, a van type of camping or something like truck. that. Pickups. Yeah, a, a, a pickup camper or something like that. Yeah. third one was General Burnside State Park in Kentucky, and that was a nice campground. We stopped at a campground. It was a state park, and it was a very, very busy event going on there this weekend, and 
the place was packed with a lot of families. A lot of campfires. A lot of campfires. That was the big thing. The whole thing was just like one big massive smoke thing. And we have nothing against campfires, but sometimes it can get really strong. And especially when there's that many. And it was $36 to stay. And there was no day pass. That was just their typical one night camping. <laughs> so... We are back on Highway 27, State Highway 27 South, and we are heading towards another campground in the National Forest, and it's getting very close to getting dark, <laughs> so we're hoping that this one's going to work out. What a day. I told Gary we should have taken the mileage before we left today, because it, we were only going to drive like an hour and a half to our destination. I think we've been on the road now for what, five, six hours. I don't know, five hours. And we're, we're losing track of time because of the time change. But anyway, yeah. Hopefully this is the one. And the last one. Was here. Okay, we'll show you really quick how we got in here, how much easier it was, and <laughs> how you have to be flexible on your time. And don't stress about the time. There's lots of other stuff to stress about, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it happened again. <laughs> oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this one was almost twice as wide as the other one, but there was no place to go except down a deep ravine <laughs> on our side, so... Thank you, sir, for backing up and, yeah. <laughs> oh. Little recap of our day. We were just south of Lexington, somewhere around 60. Then we stayed at uh, Cabela's overnight, and then we brought 75 down, got into the Daniel Boone National Forest, we got down to London. There are a lot of cool things to do in London, by the way. There was a suspension bridge and a some and a waterfalls and a bunch of trails. Boy, I wish we would have had more time for that. So then we were going to take 192. And we were going to go up and we were going to go over to here. That was the original plan. And we were going to stay maybe somewhere in the in this area. Well, <laughs> what we ended up doing was we, f we found this place on freecampsites.net and it went from London. It took us on State Road 80 and then it brought us down somewhere on that road that isn't showing up and ended up somewhere down in here, we believe. And then we got out of there and went back up and went over and we came out somewhere around M Mount Victory, I think it was, on 192 took 192 and then came down this way and then we went to Burnside and that's where the General Burnside Island State Park is. We found out that most of the state parks in Kentucky are called a state resort park. So this one had a golf course on it. Maybe that's why it cost so much. And then we got back on, we got on to 20, then we went on to 27 and we are right now somewhere north of Whitley City, somewhere around in here somewhere in the National Forest. And that was our day. <laughs> Ended up being a, a lot more than we bargained for. <laughs> our neighbor left. He was a van dweller, and this was our site last night. This is the Barren Fork Horse Camp in Daniel Boone National Forest. You do not have to have a horse, and you do not have to... Um, we didn't even see anybody with horses. I think we saw one horse trailer Yeah, last, last night. night. Yep. Right. But this was the way in. It's another 
Very narrow gravel road, but this one was a lot better. A lot shorter. Yes. <laughs> a lot shorter. And it was, it's $8 a night. But if you have the senior pass or the gold pass or whatever you want to call it, it's a 50% discount. So that's pretty nice. So for $4, we had a site that did not have any electric. But we had water across the road from us where we could refill our tank with a little water. This campground has, I think it was either 40 or 42 campsites. None of them have electric. There is water periodically where you can go and fill up a five gallon container or whatever. Um, but um, gravel, good gravel sites. A storm Pretty. shelter. <laughs> Pit toilets. <laughs> And yes, a storm shelter. Oh, they have bat houses. I didn't see that. Had a few neighbors. But otherwise it was pretty empty. This is dispersed camping and you go in, you pick your site and then you go back and pay for it. So there's no reservations. And we were very fortunate there were plenty of spots to choose from. Hope you liked this video. Hope you learned a little something from it. Hope you enjoyed the scenery. <laughs> it really is a beautiful area. It really is. Yes, and it's time to head out. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Next to it, next to it a bell is going to pop up. Ring the bell and you'll be notified every time new videos come up. If you don't ring the bell, you won't be notified. So make sure you do that. And then check out our Facebook page for extra pictures and features and other things, other stories that we don't put in our videos. And until next time, God bless and safe travels.